In this video, we're going to have a look at the reciprocal trig functions sec, cosec, and cos of x. First of all, before we have a look at this question, we're going to define what the reciprocal trig functions actually are. Well, the first one, we've got sec x, which is equal to 1 over cos x. And the way we remember these, the third letter of these reciprocal trig functions always matches the first letter of the function to which they relate. So applying this to cosec x, well the third letter is s, so that must relate to 1 over sine of x. And cot, third letter is tan, third letter is t, which relates to 1 over tan of x. And since tan is sine over cos, the reciprocal of sine over cos is cos x over sine x. So they're the reciprocal trig functions. So applying this now to a question, it said it is given that theta is the acute angle such that sine theta is 12 thirteenths. Sine theta is 12 thirteenths. Now given that it's an acute angle, we can model this situation using a right angle triangle only because it's acute. So in a right angle triangle, the angle is always acute. If we try to make it obtuse, then it no longer becomes a triangle anymore. So we've got sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, so cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, that's ka, and tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, that's toa, soccer toa. We can see here that sine theta is 12 thirteenths, so the opposite of the hypotenuse is 12 thirteenths, 12 thirteenths. From that, we can then work out what the third angle is. So the square root of 13 squared take 12 squared, using Pythagoras, is 5. So the square root of 13 squared take 12 squared equals 5. So now we know, well we knew that sine theta was 12 thirteenths, cos theta is adjacent of hypotenuse, that's 5 thirteenths, and tan theta is the opposite of the adjacent, that's 12 fifths in this triangle. We're writing this out in case it's useful later. So what it's asked us for is cot theta. So part 1, cot theta, well that's just the reciprocal of tan, so it must be 5 twelfths is cot theta. A little bit more difficult one now. It says cos of 2 theta. So using the previous expansions that we've learned about in our other tutorial videos, we know that cos 2 theta either expands to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta or 2 cos squared theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And we use each of these depending on which is most useful at the time. In this case, they're all as useful as each other because we have both sine theta and cos theta. So cos squared theta minus sine squared theta is 5 thirteenths squared minus sine squared theta, which is 12 thirteenths squared, which is equal to, so 5 thirteenths squared. take 12 thirteenths squared get that right squared equals minus 119 over 169 well let's see if the other ones work so we've got 2 cos squared theta minus 1 as one there, so 2 cos squared theta minus 1, so 2 times cos squared theta, which is 5 thirteenths squared minus 1, gives exactly the same answer. Let's try it 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, so 1 minus 2, and sine theta is 12 thirteenths squared. 
given again minus 119 over 169 or 3 give the same answer the answer is minus 119 over 169 for more videos like this go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our youtube channel